Today I'm going to show you how to enter purchase invoices into QuickBooks. If you remember, it is okay to categorise your expenditure directly from the bank feed, but if you actually want to track your supplier balances for those that you're not paying straight away, then the way to do so is to enter the purchase invoices and then allocate the payments from your bank feed to those invoices once the payments are made. So into QuickBooks, straight to your dashboard, select the new, and then under suppliers, you want to bill. This is what we call purchase invoices in QuickBooks. Okay, so now we, we just enter all of the fields. So all of your suppliers who are already entered will be here in the list. If you need a new supplier, just select add new. You can simply pop the name of the supplier and save, or you can also select details to enter their full details at this stage. Let's choose one that's already um, entered. So we can enter the terms. This will mean on the creditors report, it will show us the due dates, um, and that should be per the invoice. Um, the date, uh, the actual date on the invoice, remember to change this and not leave it at today's date. The bill number, the invoice number, any whatever reference is on your purchase invoice. Um, then we go down to the category. So you'll be familiar with your categories. It's probably better at this stage to try to use the categories that are already set up. Um, however, in a different video, I will be showing you how to set up new categories should you, should you require. So let's enter a category for the invoice. Let's imagine that it's for cost of sales. So the description, you can put whatever that you want to put. Um, and the amount, this here, because we have here that it's going to be exclusive of tax, if you're a VAT registered, here you want the net amount. And then enter the tax or no tax if you're not that registered. And then save and close. Or if you have uh, several invoices to enter, you can click the drop down here and change it to save and new. And that will literally bring you up a new screen ready. So once you've entered your purchase invoice, that will then show on your creditors report until you actually pay the invoice and mark it as paid from your bank feed. I hope this helps, but of course, if you have any questions, please do let me know.